Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Journey. The house you looked at on my last video, which was the house is located on Chisholm Street here in Montgomery, Alabama. I am getting ready to drive you people through the lovely neighborhood in which this house is located in. So to sit back, relax, eat your popcorn, drink your favorite beverage, and enjoy the journey. As soon as these cars pass me up, I will start moving. I apologize for the glare from the sunlight because it's sunny today. See, right now I'm driving a block. The block this property is located on, I'm driving down that particular block. Now, me personally, I wouldn't want to buy that particular property because A, it needs a considerable amount of work, and B, I can't really say I'm all that thrilled about this particular neighborhood. I mean, this neighborhood, I mean, it's not my idea of a decent area. I mean, this neighborhood has a lot of garbage on the ground, a lot of broken glass everywhere. You have, a, I mean, some of these properties you know, you got some that are well kept, but as far as a general neighborhood, this is not where I would want to live. Now on this, now on this block, the properties are much better kept. And one thing I discovered about Montgomery is, is no matter what side of Montgomery that you that you drive in. The majority of these properties are gonna have bars on the window. And another thing about Montgomery is no matter what side of Montgomery that you're on, a lot of these areas are gonna be heavily integrated. You see like around here, a lot of these houses are much better kept. I mean, I honestly wouldn't mind living around here probably, but the other area where I was just at a second ago, no way. You see, and another thing about Montgomery, like many other cities I resided in, a lot of the areas are, as far as finding a decent area to where the majority of the properties are well kept and the uh, traffic is not too bad and the area is clean and general I mean here in Montgomery it's kinda what I would call choppy I mean you got areas that are very well kept and very clean and then you got areas that are just a total, total disaster. You got other areas that are just a total disaster. Like this area that I'm driving through right now is is fairly well kept. And, 
and that's the thing about my that I noticed about Montgomery. It's very, it's a, it, it's a very hit and miss type of situation here in Montgomery when it comes to the neighborhood. I can drive less than two minutes from from this area, and I could run into an area that looks ridiculous. It looks like a third world country, pretty much. And no matter what side of Montgomery that you're on, that's pretty much how the city is. And there's many other cities in this country that are very identical in terms of one area you go to, it's gonna be very nice. Everything's gonna be very well kept. And then you drive two minutes down the road, it's gonna be a whole different story. Like, where I live at home, that's pretty much how, the, the, the city where I live at at home, that's pretty much how it is. It, it's very, you know, it's very, for lack of better terms, it's very chopped up. I mean, one area is clean and well kept. You can go the next block or two and it will be a total disaster. Like, I'm getting ready to cross this street here. I'm getting ready to cross Fairground Street here in Montgomery, Alabama. And you and you guys are going to see kind of what I'm talking about in a second here. Like if you look at some of the houses around here, you can tell a significant difference in the in the houses and just in general of how the area is kept. Well, the sun's kind of blocking the view a little bit. So I'm going to try to get you guys out of the sun a tad. I mean, here's a, here's a prime example of what I'm talking about. I'm going to back. Here's what I'm talking about. See, this particular person... I mean, they got garbage all over the place. And the house across the street is the same way, garbage all over the place. I can't stay here too long because you got too many people driving and I don't want to block traffic. Okay, that guy's taking care of his house. His house looks pretty good. Good for him. I mean, there needs to be more people like him. I'm gonna just keep on driving straight. Just so you guys can kind of see the difference between where I was at a minute ago and where I'm driving down in the street I'm driving through now. I probably should have took this video a little earlier in the day because right now the sun is getting ready to go down. So the sunlight is kind of blocking the view a little bit. But I'll do a video tomorrow and I'll make sure I do it earlier in the day. That way this issue with the sunlight is not going to be so much of an issue. slow down a little bit so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about This house is all boarded up. Around this street here. Keep going straight. 
great. Trying to get you guys out of this sunlight. is all boarded up. Can't see her too well. So, and oh well. Keep on moving here. Like I said, I'm going to start doing these type of videos during earlier in the day. That way you guys can see a little better. I mean, in this area, you know, like I said, there's quite a few people of all different ethnicities on the streets in this general neighborhood. See, there's a, oh man, I hate when people do that shit. There's a dog that's walking around here loose. I can't stand people who don't take responsibility for their animals. Here's the house that's boarded up. Keep going, st going straight here. And this idiot's parked right in the middle of the freaking street. house across the street from the house I was looking at on my last video I mean to me the fact that they got their windows all boarded up like that illustrates the type of neighborhood this property is located in There's another property that's got bars all over the window. And, and that's one thing about Montgomery that I notice a lot. Is no matter what side of the town that you're on, you're gonna run into a lot of these houses with bars up on the window. Hey, this house is boarded up. Another boarded up house. I'm gonna let this guy go be past me. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be uh, disrespectful and be blocking traffic. I try to be, I try to have some type of courtesy when I'm taking these videos like this.
yeah, this is the neighborhood where that property of I was looking at on the last video was in. This is the general neighborhood. block again by accident of course I didn't mean to do I didn't mean to make this turn but oh well I'm gonna try to find me a different way this time around because I don't want to show you guys a video of the same properties over and over again or the same area over and over again I mean I'm not that familiar with my gun for you quite yet, so. Try to bear with me. property for you guys. I try not to drive too slow because I don't want people thinking I'm invading their privacy. But I'm trying to drive slow enough to where you can kind of get a glimpse of the area. Okay, this video is approaching 
uh, 20, minute, 20 minutes and 40 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's getting a little long. And I will catch everybody on the next video. Everybody have a blessed day.